back here on PGA Championship tonight. We told you earlier in the show that Phil Mickelson was very complimentary of the Oak Hill Country Club setup, and he included the architect. That architect is Andrew Green, and he has been widely praised this week. He stopped with me for a few minutes earlier today. There were some sleepless nights. Uh, I was telling some folks I had about a six hour drive up uh, from Maryland and I kind of talked myself into a, a bit of a dark place of, you know, what are people going to say? How's it going to go? And it's been uh, just fantastic. Uh, still a little anxious to get through tomorrow. Phil Mickelson tweeted last night. He said that he thought the course setup Oak Hill PG of America could not have done it better. We just talked to him about it and he specifically mentioned the architect. When you hearing all those things, especially from a player like Phil Mickelson, what's your reaction? Yeah, it's, uh, it's pretty surreal for sure, but you know, that's what we're doing it for. It's such a balance to make it challenging for these guys and not be unfair in any way or have them feel that way. And so that idea of it being hard but fair is exactly what we were striving for. And I really wanted the players to think through every shot in the game and go through their whole, you know, Every, everything that's in their repertoire and figure out how to best attack it. And it's been really fun to watch. How much does a, a championship like this and the success that we've had so far and assuming that we will, what does that do for you business-wise? Yeah, I guess I, I don't know yet. Uh, I am pretty busy. Uh, I've got projects for a few years kind of booked out. But uh, certainly it, it, it's shining some light on what we've done here, getting ready to do East Lake that there are a lot of eyes on this from the PGA Tour level. And so we'll be excited to see what, what they think as well. When you think back into all the discussions and some of the compromise that went into it, how appreciative are you that this project came out this way? It's a huge kind of honor to the membership of uh, allowing them to see the vision and, and even with some reservations, take the leap of faith. And to see this week come the, through the way it has certainly has uh, kind of I don't know if vindicated is the right word, but it certainly uh, put the product where we thought it needed to be. And, and again, striking this balance between the amazing history of the club, its legacy of all these great championships, and allowing it to host more into the future. And this is the first time that an Andrew Green worked on course hosted a major championship. So hopefully those nerves will be soothed, probably not until tomorrow night. Now there's a lot of history being made every year at a major championship, including this one. There was also a historic first today with more on that. Teresa Marsenberg joins yes. me right now. Yes, Dad. A local family that I spoke to talked about another significant moment at Oak Hill Country Club. In 1992, Dr. James Evans Jr. became the first African-American invited to join Rochester's exclusive Oak Hill Country Club. This came on the heels of him becoming the first African-American president of Colgate Rochester Crozier Divinity School. His daughter, Jamila Evans Rogers, was 14 at the time. I was extremely proud because at that age, I was old enough to grasp the, gr the gravity and the weight of it. Both Jamila and Dr. Evans's second wife, Dr. Linda Hickman Evans say, this week James Evans would have been front and center during the PGA Championship. But sadly, nine months ago, in August of 2022, he passed away. This is the first time that I've been here actually since he passed. And so it's very bittersweet. Dr. Hickman Evans says walking the grounds of Oak Hill brings back precious memories of her golfaholic husband who delivered the spiritual message titled On Eagle's Wings during the 1995 Ryder Cup. As a golfing term, uh, an eagle is what everybody is looking for. So he was able to link golfing with his other love, which was the church. His family says Dr. Evans's service as the first black member at Oak Hill Country Club is an example of how he was committed to leading the way for others. Clearly, there is both pride and responsibility with being the first. It's groundbreaking, uh, but it's just not about you. It's about what comes next, who comes next. Because it's a private club, Oak Hill would not comment on Evans or his time here as a member, but both his wife and daughter say they've gotten messages from friends and members of the club throughout the week saying that he would be proud of the way that Oak Hill hosted this year's PGA Championship. Like all the rest of the members, I'm sure. Yeah. Teresa, thank you very much for that.